Pete's having technical issues. Oh, he is? Okay. Uh, uh, well, how about we do the minutes? Let's, let's start the meeting at 6.33. And um, has everyone had a chance to look at the minutes? Okay. I make a motion that we accept the minutes as presented. Okay, is there a second? A second. Kelly, thank you. Um, is there any um, discussion? Okay, hearing none, we should take a roll call vote. Holly? Yes. Diane? Yes. Jennifer? Okay. Um, Kelly? Yep. Perfect. Okay. You know. Yes. Sorry about that. I did a thumbs up. Okay. <laughs> um, we have Jonathan here um, as our guest, and we could skip down and uh, to Jonathan as soon as um, Pete gets on. Jonathan, I don't want to just. I know you're here, but I um, want Pete to be part of the conversation. So we'll wait a minute. Um, did everyone? Jennifer sent out the parade. I mean, the post office cancellation draft con uh, Pete, contract. Pete, can you hear them? Sorry, I've got Pete on speakerphone to hopefully get this to work because you he's know, having I, issues. I can, I can hear you. I'm getting the same message back. Even if I paste it in, it won't, it won't launch. Oh. I'm sorry. Okay. Yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, it's not going to be a problem. Okay. Uh, yeah, you, could, you could go to the town website. I sent him the link. He's having a problem with his computer. That's that's the oh, issue. Well, we can hear him. I can hear him on the phone. Here, I got you on speakerphone, Pete. So just do it this way for now. Yep. Okay. Um, Pete, we have Jonathan from what? FCAT what? here. If you want to uh, start the conversation about Jonathan. Yes. I mean, definitely. I just. Uh, is, is he joined the meeting? Yes, he's in the meeting. Okay. Are you guys downtown? No, we're all on Zoom. Okay. All right. So it's six thirty-six. I'll call the meeting to order. They already did that. And we voted okay. the minutes. They voted in the minutes. Sorry, I was okay. trying to help you with that part. Okay. So uh, let's let's shift to Jonathan, sure, please. Take it away, Jonathan. You're on mute. <laughs> you hear me now? Yes. yes. All right. So the reason why I wanted to join tonight was because next month is Waitley's 250th and we're covering a lot of, I'm going to make the efforts to cover as much of their stuff as we can. And like I get going with helping with Deerfield to see what we can cover and what all you guys are planning so I could get into schedule and start recruiting help and volunteers. I, I think Jonathan, we for sure want you to cover everything that's in our calendar already. But um, I haven't, I brought it up at the Selectman's uh, meeting um, this past Wednesday for uh, to take the Klein workshop yes. for $12,000. Everyone, the select board is in support of that. And the FCAP money, we just have to find out, it's normally used for capital rather than training. So we just have to find out if we can use the, that money uh, that we have sitting in the bank for the workshop as a training. Um, if not, then we'll figure out how to pay for it out of our select board budget because we uh, think that would be excellent training. And can you go into just a little bit, Jonathan, what it takes to interview people and why you thought the workshop might work? Well, um, interviewing people is a real art and I've done a lot of stuff. Um, let me just send everybody a link of something I did with uh, Lois Bean out in the Waitley. This was a piece that I did. Let me pull it up. 
but uh, there's a, a lot that go, it's not as difficult as it is. There's sort of basic principles you want to follow. You want good lighting. There's ways you want to structure your questions so people can rephrase them in your answer. And the other trick is get as much archival material as you can and get like a nice flatbed scanner and scan it. So I think having the professional come in and teach this would be an excellent thing to do, the climb workshop. And I would love to have FCAT help sponsor this. And maybe with, with this, we can even show off some of the equipment we have if the instructor or people playing on don't mind. We could sure show off what kind of tools we have. I actually just bought some new lapel mics for the station, which I'm hoping is going to help improve the quality of some of the lecture work we do. So that's, but I, I think it would be a good opportunity for us to work together with the 350th committee and putting on this event. And Holly. Um, Jonathan, you said you were sending us a link. How are yes. you doing that? I'm going to put in the chat in just a moment. Oh, hold on just a moment. By that, this is a little video I did. It actually, it came in second place in the competition. Oh, come on, my internet's a little slow. But a lot of this used like slides that Mrs. Bean had that she allowed me to scan at a very high resolution. Oh, you know what, Jonathan? We don't have chat. On, oh, you uh, don't? On, uh, Do you want to share your meeting. screen, Jonathan? I'd be sort of pointless to do that. I can send everybody an email later on. Okay. That, right. I, can, I can email you and Jennifer and she can send it out to everybody. Okay. That, the, I, I'll admit I goofed up when I did the video because I forgot to hide the microphone microphone wire that's one thing you need to do too so i could certainly use a little repractice myself it's been a while so um we want to get going pretty soon on this so jonathan do you think um we could work it into your schedule to start interviewing people pretty soon after this training uh when is the training going to be um, Jennifer, can you ask Maybe Pete? I can chime in at this point. The, the training is five three-hour sessions. Okay. And so we haven't said we we've got a, a, a rough proposal worked out and had a budget, and we were waiting on feedback from Carol and as to whether that money could be appropriated before we completed all of the details. The other thing that I, I, I'm not sure uh, everybody's understanding is that the clients um, are, are excellent folks. I mean, they've had like 60 years combined in terms of doing interviews. So it's, it, they're very professional, but they do oral interviews, yep. not videos. So I think the opportunity exists for a joint venture in which we could combine both videos and the oral interviews. And if you can set up some, think about setting up some training for the video part of it, then I think working with FCAT and the program that the clients have uh, would be an excellent opportunity to take it over the top. Jonathan, shake your head, yes, Pete. I, I agree. So, so if you have time this week to actually sit down and meet, we can we can come over to the office. The clients live in Sunderland, and I live here in town. Thursday, I am available. Or no, Thursday's gonna be Friday. I'm definitely available. Did, you hear did, that? Because Friday. Thursday, I I'll be in the station briefly, but I have to leave by three p.m for an appointment that you have at four, but Friday, I will definitely be available. All right, let's, let's, uh, let's set it up for Friday morning. All right. Uh, we'll, let's say 10 o'clock. Sure, let me put that in the calendar. All right. 
Can I ask a question, Pete? Yes. Um, and Carolyn, you may have this. What is the ballpark that they, are you looking to get the whole entire thing by them or just the training? Because I had actually um, been speaking with Michael and Carrie about it because I wanted, because the senior center is going to participate in that. And we were going to approach yep. the um, Council on Aging specifically of Deerfield, um, you know, to see if they would fund part of the training for the oral history part. So that way the seniors yep. could also partake in that. So I was just curious as to um, where you had gotten at this point, because I know I haven't been here in a while. Yeah, a little a little before where, where you are, uh, you were kind of next to my, there's, there's a whole bunch of people, including yourself, that once I knew we had something of a budget, uh, I was going to get in touch with. Um, I the, the, way the, the way we have it right now is we can do the training plus uh, 10 to 15 interviews, oral interviews with the clients participating as, as, as well as the volunteers as once they've gotten the training. So it is beyond simply beyond simply training. Great. That's wonderful. And the, the, the idea is to build on that and come out with at least one product by early 2023. That's great. Then we, could, then we could broadcast or whatever. One of one of the things that um, the seniors I have spoken to who were in, curious about this um, were curious about having one of the presentations at the senior center is like part of the 350th celebratory year. So it could be presented to them. Um, so they wanted to have like a, um, I'm sorry, what do you call it? You know, like one of those red carpet events, but not that decked out, if you know what I'm talking about, um, to kind of have a presentation. I didn't hear you, Pete. So to, to actually play a product, to, to review a product. Yeah, to so like have, yeah. yeah, to do like that. So that way um, the seniors who participate will hopefully still be with us and to, um, have them be part of the celebratory year to have a special showcased event there. They were interested yeah. in doing that. I don't know why we couldn't. I just wanted okay. to share that. Pete, we the select board the select board voted the twelve thousand dollars. It's just uh, to support the twelve thousand dollars. But Jonathan, we're not sure if we can use FCAT the FCAT account because normally we use it to buy equipment. So we're not sure yeah. if it, a training is covered. So we're trying to get an interpretation. I have not heard back from Casey on that. And I will try to see if we have that interpretation. But the select board is so supportive of this that we've, um, we're coming up to the end of the fiscal year. And even though it's not a budgeted item, we have leftover money in our you know different accounts and you can vote, you know, to change the leftover amount to another line item. So what we will, would do is just go through all our budgets and try to pull together $12,000 from all the town budgets to try to meet this expenditure, okay? We, okay. we, want, we want to go uh, forward. We want to go forward with it. All right, so I think we, um, I'm looking forward to the meeting on Friday, Jonathan, and uh, I think I'll, I'll get the clients to come. I uh, I, will, I will ask them. I, I don't know. They're pretty uh, they're pretty anxious to uh, you know become part of this too. I mean, they've done some wonderful stuff. I could send you a lot of connections of things they've done from you know interviews in the coal fields and the riots in the coal fields to you know it it, it, it just runs a full gamut because they've been doing it for so long. Uh, yes, uh, do you have my email? So. Jonathan's trying to talk to you, Pete. Do you have my email address, Pete? No, I don't. Can you give it to me? It's J A B O S C H E N at gmail.com. Uh, email me the links to that. Okay. Try, try me again. I got the J A. What's the third? B B O S C H E N 
B O S E N? No, C H E N. P E H E N. So you got J A B O S C H E N at gmail.com. Okay. I think I, I've got it. Uh, uh, probably Marie's got a copy of it too, but I'll I'll get that out to you uh, so you can see what the, the kind of work that they've been doing. It, it's it's really wonderful stuff. Um, okay, great. That's great. Um, thanks for all of your effort, Carolyn. And then uh, I think we can. We're going to need to tweak the budget. Uh, I think part of uh, and the program to bring this in line. And I think that that having that amount of money. We can start with a few thousand dollars for the training, and then we can build on it from there. So, I think we're, uh, I think it's a go. So, well, um, we'll we'll uh, put everything together, and we'll try to fund as much as we can. So, okay. you know, the the do the training, but then also put in the extra stuff that Jennifer was talking about with the seniors and whatever. So you have we have a total because we can you know, if we can use the FCAP money, I, I think we have like $88,000 there. So if we can use the FCAT, you know, our Comcast money that we get from Comcast, that's just been yeah. left over money over the years, this just has built up so that we can buy equipment. If we can use it for training, then this is perfect. But if not, then we'll try to dig up the money somewhere as much as possible and then maybe we can get a match from somebody you know somebody okay, might so donate what, a match what did you say was in the eight? Eighty-eight thousand. about eighty-eight thousand, yeah. i i believe so All right. I mean, well, well we'll if, when we when we meet with jonathan we'll, we'll have a sense of how we might work together and then also we can tweet budgets because uh you know that's a I don't think if you can use FCAT, we're in great shape for this for this entire project. Yeah. Uh, but, but the twelve thousand was to really get us going, so that we could uh, train people, give them some experience out there with um, uh, the clients being sort of mentors on site while the, the interviews are done. They also want to do some themselves uh, and use their expertise. And I think again, maybe one of the things that you can think about. Uh, for the folks that come into the senior center is who might be some of the top candidates that you can think of. Uh, people that like to tell stories and, and, you know, have lived here a while, but we've got time to work through that yeah. election process. And uh, so let's get some, let's get some training going. I think this is great. And the one thing I see is, is there still an echo I talk? Okay, it's gone. One thing I noticed too is if you want to do it, it's I know from ex, from just professional experience having the proper training on how to properly conduct interviews, it's a type of thing where if it's done right, it could be like used for generations. Because I've seen it when unfortunately the interviewer hasn't done a very good job interviewing people and it shows. And it's very unfortunate because some of the good stories that were told, they weren't presented in the best way. And unfortunately, it just doesn't work out too long, well in the long run. So I think this is a great thing to do. I'm, I'm excited. I'm, I'm delighted. And I think uh, everybody that I've talked to, I'm hoping to be delighted. So let's get it off and running and uh, we'll get together with uh, you on uh, Friday, Jonathan. Thank you, Jonathan. Is there anything else you want to add? Uh, just a couple of questions. When are you guys going to retrieve the cake from Waitley and bring it over? Uh, uh, it'll be somewhere in the end, towards the end of November, I think, is what yeah. we're planning. It was supposed to be before Chris, before the ground got frozen, I thought, right? Isn't that what was Let me know, because oh, yeah. I have a like let me know because I like a film that. So. That'd be great. The other thing that the first um, event that's a sort of a pilot for the 350th 
uh, is the workshop that Jay's going to give at the Tobin Library at 11 o'clock on June 11. Speaking of that, I actually have a new lapel microphone. I want to show you and Marie how I use so you guys can try okay. that out with when when Jay gives his talk. I think it would really help enhance what, it. Okay. What what time was that again, Pete? On June eleventh? It starts at it'll start at eleven. Oh, eleven at eleven on the June eleventh. Okay. And that's um Jay's talk on the mills. Uh, Jay's, I'm, Jay's going to talk about indus, industry and, and exhibit or show kids how to make their own nuts and bolts. Is that this year or next year? That, that's a hands-on, no, that's this year. Okay. So I, I sent you all in uh, a thing about, uh, I had a couple of posters I made up, those are sort of the mock-ups. I'm going to be there and I'm going to have those on exhibit just to give people an extended flavor of early industry. But uh, the other thing, Jen, is uh, do you have a, the 350th poster or something that you use at town meetings and that sort of thing that I could use? We didn't, um, there wasn't a poster, was it, Holly? I've only got the Friends of Deerfield poster, but uh, this Deerfield 350th committee never had anything made up. Okay. Um, let me, think of, let me think about it. I may make one, but uh, all right. Uh, Pete, I thought those those posters were so good. Is there a way that we can get them printed up? Well, they look nice, but I'm going to do them in, in two by three. They're going to be much larger than that. You can get banners uh, made in a fat. Oh, well, they used to at uh, Paradise Copies for the turnaround time was was like a week or so. Um, so you you may be able to do that. I'm looking at the posters that you have here, the ones that I, you emailed I, out. I, I kind of would like a, a copy or two to hang, to frame and hang up in the town hall. I mean, the I can see us. That, you know, if we use them for the. Uh, for the talk, talk and stuff, then I have easels and, and uh, I could bring them over and set them up in the town hall so they're there. Okay, I just thought they were so attractive that if we could get a printing of them, a picture, of, a printing from a picture or something, um, we could frame them uh, at least and have, a, you know, in the town hall and library. I mean, I think people would be really interested, truthfully. These are yeah, great. Too. I, I think what I'm trying to do is do stuff before two th before the 2023 so that I can actually you know get things done so in a, in a, this is sort of okay we can use it for this uh, ex exhibit that Jay or, or talk that Jay's going to give but I'm not going to destroy those posters. And, and, you know, and so my intent was to use those until I find other venues to display them and That's do right. other posters for other kinds of things. So, um, but we'll, um, we'll, let's talk about it further offline once, once we get the... Okay. Um, the other... We'll see. So, Jonathan, would you be able to um, uh, videotape some of that? cover some of that on June 11th? I probably can. I'll okay. talk to Marie because I know she expressed interest in covering it also, so we can work it out. Marie okay. is Pete's wife. Okay, perfect. All right. Um, if there's nothing else, then we can go on. Uh, we can start back, go back to the post office cancellation stamp draft. Right. Okay. I'm going to share my screen. Pete, you look in your email. That's where I sent it. Before we... Before oh, we sorry. Jump. Holly, Holly has a... <laughs> Hold on, Pete. Holly has a question. Holly has a question. Um, before we jump to this, um, because I know Kelly has to step off for a work call and she's going to be coming back on. And I know we have a number of things to cover. I was wondering if we could just push this down um, and oh, get through sure. a few other agenda items. 
Well, Which one Kelly was, was going to take notes in case any changes needed to be made on this because I may not be available to make any changes on it moving okay. forward. So um, what what do you want to do next on our agenda? Well, I just I know she had to step out and she said she'll come back when she can, but I, that could be some time. OK, um, duh, we OK. Uh, parade entry documents. Did you did you have any updates on that, Holly? Um, I ha have edits in progress. I'm meeting with Casey on Wednesday, um, and um, I, uh, um, Kelly and I are going to have a um, kickoff. Well, not a kickoff, but a preliminary meeting with some South Deerfield Women's Club people about the parade um, next week. So um, I should have more information to share um, at the June um, meeting that we have. Perfect. Um, we, Pete, do you have anything on the working history group updates? Um, yeah. Um, hang on just a sec. I turn my page here. Uh, okay, so. I just wanted to let, this is really not the, the history group, but um, I responded to a request for, uh, for information from Pamela Hodgkins, who's the president of the Deerfield Lions Club. Uh, she was interested in what they could do about uh, um, what was the celebration. So I directed her to post the Deerfield 350 and the front of Deerfield web pages. Um, and we talked about various things, and I said the two big things coming up are the gala and the parade. Um, and if they wanted to develop something themselves, that was perfectly fine. They're going to have a meeting in June uh, of Alliance Club, so she will discuss uh, with the members there um, about, about what they might want to do, and then get back to the steering committee. Okay. Um, I, I, that was I, I, I think um, we need to we, we I think we need to emphasize that um, Holly's going to need a lot of help for that day. So yep. if she could or you know touch base and organize with Holly, that would be really really important. Yeah, I gave her Holly's uh, email. Oh, okay, good. I, my my thoughts were running along the same lines. <laughs> Yeah, I, um, I mean, we, okay, somebody, so like we a, the, uh, somebody like that. Somebody like that is really good uh, for Holly to, you know, have some real reliable, good volunteers. So we mm -hmm. want to make sure they get funneled to Holly. Yeah, okay. Yeah, Pam's a real go getter. Oh. She's she's a really good um, person to have on board. Yep, and she'll yep. she'll nail you at least four. I would say at least four or five really good volunteers. Mm -hmm. So when you break out your subcommittees of your work group, then she, you know, potentially those would be people that you would want, you know, to be in charge of. Yep. I mean, because they're used to putting on events. You know, they have they have a lot of um, you know, they do the Lions Club events. So yep. you would yep. have experienced people with parking and you know, all that hassle stuff. Yep. Yep, exactly. Sorry, Pete, I didn't mean to interrupt. If I hear from her again uh, independently, um, I'm not sure who sent it to me. The she must have sent some to the steering committee. But I did. did on? Okay, thanks. Um and if you want to do that with anybody else, I'm game for talking to. Yeah, that's what I've been doing when people email is forwarding it to you so you can disseminate to who it needs to go to. Okay, great. Um, so, anybody have any feedback on the two posters, just out of curiosity? They look great. I think they're really so done. And thank I you for think. doing some research for me so I don't have to look for uh, for some stuff. Uh, <laughs> okay. Uh, they were fantastic. A lot more uh, on those mills um, and about the Stebbins as well. So uh, 
we'll, we'll get together at some point. Um, I just, just before, I had invited people at Moorfield for the 350th, at the planning committee up there. Uh, I got in touch with them several weeks ago, uh, and they, I got a note back saying, well, we'd like to uh, attend your um, upcoming, we'll dial into your meeting. And I apparently told them it was on the 26th and not the 23rd. So just before the meeting, about two minutes, I got a, an email from the chair up there saying, uh, we'd like to dial in on the 26th. So anyway, I, I think I got a note back saying they're probably busy tonight. We just double check it. There, there, um, was, there was somebody named Aaron who just tried to join us. Yeah. Oh, okay. I don't know who that is. Is that a name? Um, not one I have on the list from Northfield. Okay. Uh, Brian Brault, Lindsay McCarthy, Mary King are the folks from Northfield. Um, what's, let's see, Stacy, uh, yeah, Stacy, not to worry, I don't think I can make it, but if you want to try and send the link, maybe I can catch the tail end. Thanks, Pete. So, uh, she may be dialing in. Anyway, uh, we'll, uh, I'll try and pursue that with the 350th in Northfield. And the other avenue to that group is Marie took the oral history training work course from the clients uh, at Northfield. So she's met the group up there who are going to be doing oral history. So that'll be a, 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 an in for uh, contacts in Northfield. Good. Uh, let's see. That sounds really good. So I think that's uh, it for my list of history working groups. Uh, yep. So, uh, do we have, did anyone call in, Jen, from Friends of Deerfield, or is Chris going to join us or anything? I, I don't know. I don't always get to talk with Chris, and he is not on here. Okay. okay. So, I think that was the only, those are the only two things under new business, unless somebody brought up something that they wanted to talk about of the new business. Well, um, you have the community remembrance, uh, establishing a spoken history and deep listening program for the 350th and beyond. Yeah, that was the whole thing with uh, Michael, our uh, FCAP and, and the budget and everything else. Oh, oh, okay. I'm sorry. Holly, has, has, Holly has her hand up. Um, two things. One, um, I'm wondering on the web page if we could maybe develop, um, I know when we go into the celebrate drop down, um, we have the couple of events so far, but maybe not this minute, but just for the future, as we start to develop the calendar, if maybe that was just right on the front page. Um, so when you go out to the web page, immediately you can see a calendar of events um, because you do have to look for it a little bit. Um, and I just thought it'd be easier if it was right there when you got on the page. And my second question was, was there a walking tour already done in town, um, Diane, that you were gonna do? You're muted. No, the, 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 Ollie, the walking tour was something the historical commission was working on. There was a separate one that Diane was doing. Diane yeah, wants I to did respond. A, I did a walk on Whaley Road. And it was during the week where we were having the 25 mile an hour winds. And uh, <laughs> only one other person came with me. It was incredible. It was windy. I mean, yep. it was one of those days everybody wanted to stay in. But uh, I took a nice walk nonetheless and told that yep. person about the area. You know? um, it, it's just, I didn't know when you were doing it. And I would have had no way to know it. So yeah. things like that, if we get them on the web pages. Actually, it's sort of weird because the person that I was supposed to contact 
had been out sick a few days and then she contacted me and I didn't get right back to her. And then it was two days before and it's like, you know, that's absurd. It became to me a mood issue. Like I, I it was so far or too close. I didn't bother. Yeah, you know, mm -hmm. I have to admit. Diane, I'm, I'm what we could do, um, we're transitioning to a new website. Um, so we can't do it right now, but it's supposed to be happening in the next two or three weeks. So the next time you have one, we can put it on the town website. Okay. Yeah, um, I, put, I well. put it on Facebook. But... Yeah. If you well, email it to me, Diane, I can add it ahead of time to the website for you. Okay. And actually, it was shortly after you announced the senior center walking. Uh, so I didn't want to act like I was competing with you. I think yeah, but that's a totally different was, thing. Was so it, it's not. It seemed to be a bigger. Competing. That seemed to be a bigger thing. So I didn't want to compete with that. That that was. Going oh, on. there's no competition so I, I with that. that yeah. No worries, I, I, Diane. I still think it's a lovely idea, and I already. think it's so wonderful that people are going to do the neighborhood thing, and and I would just circle around and do do your neighborhood again in the fall. Okay, I mean, you know, all righty. Or near I, harvest time or something like that. Just redo it. Yeah. Okay. All yeah, righty. I would definitely have an interest, but I didn't know it was happening. So. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. It was, it was, I was gung ho and then it was like, oh, geez. And yeah, and then I didn't connect and I lost, lost confidence. But as I said, and the wind came along and it was a beautiful walk anyways. Good, good. <laughs> Well, maybe we should just have, um, you know, rain dates for your walks too, you know. Oh, I was, I if it rained, I was still going to walk. But it was that wind. Remember that week where it was yeah. just like 22 every moment of every day? And uh, I was yeah. like, okay, I wore a hat, a scarf, and, uh, yep. and I yep. went. <laughs> um, so let's go back to the post office cancellations now that Kelly's back. Um, I, uh, if people wanted to go and see that. Yes, please. Um, okay. Yeah, I just brought it up on my screen. I yeah. After reading through, I didn't see any typos or anything. And I, it's, I like it. <laughs> Thanks, Pete. We just need the date that we need, uh, that we want the submission um, submitted by and the date the winner will be chosen. Okay. Those two dates. Um, and I just have insert date there. And I gave them the email address for the Deerfield 350 at the Gmail if they had questions because there's really no one in town hall who can answer the phone on that. Can you make it okay. bigger? No. It, unfortunately, I played around with font sizes. I can try to shrink down the sample sizes down below. That would be the only way to make it bigger. Or are you referring to the screen that it's currently on? Um, well, first of all, the screen, because I, I would really like to look at this, but it's going to take well, me a minute I did to email read. it to everyone. So if you want to pull up your email, it might be easier for you to read on your own individual computer if you have the ability. So I don't know how big I can make it on this particular screen here. Does that oh, help any? That's, oh, that helps, yes. Okay, I wasn't sure if it would work or not, so I'm glad it does. Well, that works great. Uh, I, you got a, a line there, uh, Jen, that says included date. I think you can just put three, the three dates right in there, right? Um. Well, no, included date means, um, so on the postmark uh, UPS guide or USPS oh, guidelines, yeah, yeah you, you had to choose a date. I just arbitrarily yeah. chose January 1st. Obviously, that can be changed to anything we want to change it to during the year um, because I wasn't sure what first date we were going to start stamping things with. And the other dates up top are the date that they need to submit their um, submission and the date the winner will be chosen. Yep, yep. I think, you you know, if you, you get an extra line, if you 
reduce the bottom panel a little bit. But I think it's proof the bottom panels seem pretty clear to me. I mean, they're, they're good examples of what people might be able to produce. You know, I'm really sorry. I can't remember. Um, what did we say we wanted the end date as the, they had to be submitted by? Were we talking the fall, right? Yeah, we I were. think so. I forget the exact date, though. I had the date. Hang on. Oh, thank you, Holly. Um, I, I can't read it because my picture, all of our faces are on top of it. So I really, I'm still not able to read it. Yeah, as totally. I said, it's in your email. If you check your email from I know, today. But because you're sharing the screen, you took over my computer. So I'm trying to get to that. Um, um, let me go back. September 2nd is what we had indicated. But okay, September so 2nd is a Friday. Does but, that still but, work for people? I think we should do it. Um, a week or two later, only because the kids need to be back in school. That makes sense, Holly. Yeah. Um, you know, we don't want it to be right when they're coming off a summer break and they forget about it, you know. Um, I like that idea. So are we talking about then September 16th? I think, I think we should probably still try to keep it um, on a Friday. We have to submit it at least 10 weeks prior to publication. So, oh, that does still give us enough time. Yeah. Yeah. So you want me to choose which date, September what? September 16th. I think, I think Holly's suggestion is excellent. Uh, it's because there's too much, you know, uh, parents have too much paperwork to get back to the schools at once they, when they're just starting up. It's all the, I mean, it's a huge amount. It's like a whole. And pack. what date do you want to select the winner? Um, well, we should, how about September 30th? Well, if we you, have our next meeting on the 26th, is that when it would be? 26th, yeah. So, yeah. The winner will yeah, be but we want to we want to have be able to announce it. So that's what if we said we're going to announce the winner by the thirtieth, that would give us uh, that okay. week. I'll put September 30, twenty twenty two. I think Great. so because then it gives us all of October, all of no um, November, and all of December to meet the ten week. Um, you know. T timeline that the post office wants. Now, what date should we put on the cancellation? Um, Peter, I, I'm d I would defer to you. What important date do we want on the cancellation? Founders Day is May 7th, Pete. Well, how about Founders Day would May 7th? Yeah, it's May 7th. May so 7th? I guess so. I, I, mean, I mean, it's the only common date for the whole, I can't think of another appropriate date. Let's put it that way. All right. All right. May 7th, that, that's changed. So okay. And I'm modifying, making these little tiny, or making this, the samples a little smaller and ex, uh, making the fonts hopefully a little bit bigger. I just want to make sure that the stamps come out or the samples come out um, legible. Yeah so people can see what they look like. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna be able to make it much bigger because the, uh, trying to come up with the design was hard enough and then playing around with the sizes is what most of my time has been spent doing on that, so. I, I think just for, curiosity, just for curiosity, Jen, have, have you printed this? I mean, how big does it come out when you actually print it? No, I have not printed it. It's eight and a half by 11 right now, I believe is what the size is for this setting. Okay. Um, well, I'm just, I'm just curious if it was any, it doesn't look eight and a half by 11 now. It looks like eight by 10 at the most. 
No, it's eight and a half by 11 total with everything in the background. Okay, well, I think people can read it. I don't have a problem. Okay, I'm trying to read. I'm trying to read quickly while everyone's talking. Does it say it must be black and white somewhere? Does it say what? That it needs to be in black and white? Um, I think it's in here. Hold on. And then we're asking people for um, all submissions must include this and this and this, but we haven't included requesting their name, contact information, and age. So we need to have that as well. I have that on there about their ages. If you want to change it up, I emailed it to Kelly. Kelly can make any modifications. No, I'm saying when they send their submission in, how are, we're saying it's open to two categories of ages, but mm -hmm. on the submission, we want them to include their name, their age, their contact information. I don't think we've said that here, have we? No, nope, we did not. But it should be there. Sure, I'll add it, no so, problem. Uh, as a little lower, maybe at the bottom of the page. If you want, Jen, I wonder if just removing the enter to win might free you up some space. Got it. No problem. I'm sorry. That's why we just wanted to look at this earlier to give you time for edits. Sorry, work's been really busy. I can, I can certainly make the edits later if that, if you want. Yeah, that yeah. might make it easier. Making to it find right them. now, not a problem. Yeah. Can we just have one more look or? Um, if you give me a moment, I'll finish it and I'll send it right over. So I'm putting submit your entry including your name, age, and anything else. And I put the, um, the black and white part in the bottom paragraph that said all graphic designs must be in black and white. Um, there, so that way people know it's there. Did you want me to add anything other than the name and age at the top part? Um, that just said contact info. I said, submit your entry, including your name, comma, age. And what else did you want me to add to that is what I'm asking. Um, contact information. Well, is she maybe specific, maybe just a phone number. Phone number, email, phone number. address. Awesome. Well, contact these are info. kids, so I would say probably phone number. Parents' phone number would probably be better. Or, gar and, uh, no, I'll just put phone number. All right, I think this looks better here. I've got it to fit here. Give me one second to move this around. I shrunk down the enter to win just slightly. Great, I let me just move this over. And save it as a picture.
And now I'm going to share my screen again. Give me one second here. Mm. Oh, did it not save? Sorry, I guess I still had the original picture open, so it didn't save it for me. Technicality, Sampi, huh, or technology, yeah, I should longer. say. <laughs> it's so much fun. Been there before. <laughs> yeah, all right, here we go. Now, where did it go? While you're doing that, um, how, how are we going to get this announcement to the schools? It can be emailed to them or we can print it off. Normally, um, at the schools, Kelly, do organizations send in flyers all prepared to go or do they require the school to print them? Uh, I've only worked through the PTA, which I've seen you know, PTA sends stuff through. Uh, I could certainly speak to Tina Jem, the principal, at least from Deerfield Elementary. Yeah, because I would almost think they'd want something to just put into the book bag. That it would be easier to print. Yeah. yeah. Here we go. Sorry. Apparently I had everything shrunk down, so I could not see my screen there. There you go. And I'll make it larger again. Are you sending this out in, in email too? I can most certainly do that. Give me one sec. I got to do it after uh, everybody looks at it here because of the um, share screen thing. I can't use my yeah, email at the same time. I, I, I can't believe I won't like it the second time around, but I just can't see it. <laughs> no problem. Here, I'll take a screenshot of it. <laughs> you can look at it on your on your phone. Send, you know, come to my computer, just send an email. No problem. I think we should have um, some at the town hall and not all kids sign up for the rec department stuff, but we could hand up, hand out them to anybody that signs up for rec um you know recreational programs um i'm just trying to think of other venues that we could make sure it stays out in the public between now and september 16th. Mm -hmm. well if everybody agrees with this version and i'll email it out so if you want to look at it over and make any other modifications um, I can upload the picture to the website and um, it'll be put on there. Um, my only worry about the 16th and the 30th being close together um, is say we get 100 entries and we need to look at them all. We need to have meetings to review them. Is that going to give us enough time? Yeah, we'll have meetings. Uh, yeah. You know, we'll one, one of the things we can do, Holly, is um, if we get that kind of a load, we can split them up among the committee, the steering committee, have them pick five of the best, and we'll combine those, and everybody can review the, what's left. You know what, Holly? I really hope we have that kind of problem. Truthfully. I know. I was thinking that too. <laughs> right. Well, I, I, you know, but I, I think it, if, if it's promoted, like you say, we try to get it out there as much as possible. Um, I mean, once we release this, um, you know, you could even have the recorder cover it too that we're doing a contest, you know? Oh, I can oh. talk to Chris Larrabee about it and get him to cover it. Yeah. He'll be fine with that. Yeah. You know, because be fine with that. any any kind of hey, buzz yeah. like that. Um, so if you guys want it, you know, put, put the boots on and we'll get it done. Okay, but it's just, it's tight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it is it's tight. Fine. I, the other thing, Jen, if, if you, um, 
one of the things that the library is going to do is to notify the grammar school yeah, of Jay's talk yeah. on the 11th. Mm -hmm. So that if we had a flyer or something like that, or, you know, real reprints of, of your thing, I could have them there on site too and just as another way of circulating them among the kids. Yeah, I, yep. I'm also in contact with um, the new children's librarian, Holly, at the library, so I can send this to her and ask her to share it with her email distribution list or put it in the newsletter for the library. That's that's yeah, a great idea. idea. I'm yeah. on the Deer, the PTA for Deerfield Elementary, so I can ask them to post it too. Great. Yeah, oh, because I'm thinking the library story. also probably hits um, anybody who's homeschooled too. Yeah. Um, you know, because it's a great resource and for, for yep. that. I, I can share it with the women's club and they can pass it along. So if we great. can use our sources, sure. Yeah. In and I can library, at the library, Jay's talk is gonna be one of several things, but that's their kickoff day for reading at the library. Thanks. So that it should attract a number of kids. I hope so. Did you get in touch with any of the um, local Boy Scouts, Girl Scouts, 4-H clubs and stuff like that that might be interested in that event, Pete? Believe it or not, I'm not sure if we have them. Really? Scouts? Yeah. Um, we um, have, I know we have Girl Scouts. Oh, we do have Girl Scouts? Okay. Yeah, there was um, sign advertising. That'd be sad uh, if it was gone. The name Katie Josephs is who the women's club coordinates with because we support them. Oh, good. I'm, I so, really was worried that they, the, you know, the Boy Scouts. I don't know about, I don't know about Boy Scouts. I have not heard any buzz about Boy Scout troops, but um, I know um, the Girl Scouts, Katie actually just messaged me that she's hoping now that the pandemic, let's say this um, hopefully is, a little more manageable that they might be forming new troops. Um, so at least it sounds like they're active. Good. Yeah, I saw good. flyers for them by the elementary school um, driving by one day. Oh, so good. That's good. Advertising for, for troop or advertising for the Girl Scouts at least. So um, do you want me to change the date then and go into, no, in, into October? Um, to give us an extra week to evaluate, because if we're using Founders Day um, as the cancellation stamp, we don't have to be ready for January 1st. We could make it a little bit later. I just didn't know how, you know, how soon you, we wanted the post office to do the turnaround time. I think it might be worth putting it back since we don't have to rush. Yeah, I'm, I'm fine with that. That makes total sense. Um, so with day do you want to choose then? Yeah, um, I'm about the middle of October. Can we, do, can we go that far? Yeah, we should be able to go out two more weeks after that. Um, let me just pull up my calendar. Just I mean, I guess what like I the whole do month. Is, is ask uh, Kelly to put the put it on the agenda for our meeting coming up, and if we can, if oh. in the end of August, and if we all feel that we can handle a, a, you know, a meeting before the 15th of October, let's just do it. Well, that Friday, the second, um, second Friday of October is the 14th. And I hope we're not meeting um, on the last Monday of October, because that is Halloween. Mm, yeah, I won't be there. <laughs> <laughs> no, we so, can adjust. We can do you adjust. want me to make it October 14th then for the death? Would that way the winner will be announced on October 14th? Yeah, I'm good with that. Yeah. Yeah. Anyone else? Sure. No. Great. So I've just made some modifications and I moved the enter to win around just slightly. So it wasn't a little overlapping on the top there. So um, great. Well, you're also saying in your verbiage, the winner will be selected, not necessarily announced. So if it's announced within a few days after that. Well, I changed it to the October 14th. Do you want me to change it back? No, 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 no. I'm saying that regardless of how your phraseology doesn't mean we have to make some big announcement. It just means our selection committee will have selection by then. Okay. 
So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to email this out to everyone. That way you all can look at it some more if you wanted to. And, and then I think that uh, the, the last uh, dialogue that went on is, is fine because what that will allow us to do, if we select it by then, that we can notify the paper and make a public announcement and, or set that thing up a few days later and we'll still be in accord with what we've just put in the, in the flyer here. Mm -hmm. Yep. Has anyone talked to Jay recently? I saw him not too long ago. He seemed to be in spirits. Um, I, was up, <laughs> I was up in his barn with all of the machines he's got up there. Uh, when just, well, actually, the last time I've seen him was when it was I, just before I did the flyer. Uh, I haven't talked to him since. Yeah, he comes to the senior center once a month to do music. Everybody enjoys that a lot. We do birthday yeah. celebration with him. It's great. Great. Such a talented musician. I didn't know that. We should have him do some music for the for the mm -hmm. year too. All right. So I'm sending this to making sure I'm not forgetting anybody. I've got Pete, Carolyn, Kelly, Holly, Jay, and Diane. Am I missing anyone? No. <laughs> Good. All right. Sending out the final version that we have discussed here. If there's any other changes? As long as there's no changes, well, I will update the website to put it there. Um, I'm just curious, um, because I'm seeing Jonathan still on. Is it something that can be on a screen on FCAT? Yeah, he can oh, usually sure. take details and make his own slide, so I can forward it to him. Jonathan, can we can we forward that to you? Uh, what is it? I was in the middle of typing something. It was sort of a. a it's all right. I'll send you the publisher version of the document we're talking about, and you can take whatever data you want off of it, so it's legible for the. Um, okay. Well, what is this? Sorry. It's okay. <laughs> it's it's for the um, for the uh po pictorial postmark. Um, oh, okay. It, yeah. A so contest. It's, it's a contest. 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 I can post details for that and you can send yeah. me what you want. If you have a brand or design you want, I can put it together and make it really nice. I am sending it to you right now. Oh, it's coming from my which, personal. There should be an email in your, uh, from me to you. Yeah, and I got that. This okay, is coming cool. from my personal account, not work. So you'll see this. Okay. All right, I'm just sending it over. There's two documents in there. One is the final version of the picture and the other one is the publisher doc. So you can take any data out of there you need to. Good, that'll be great. Thank you, Jonathan. You're welcome. Um, is there anything else under um, uh, any business, old or new? I don't see any. Uh, According to the agenda, I think we've uh, made it through the entire thing. Uh, wait, let's, why don't we take a final vote on the um, cancellation draft? Or I, I think. Oh, uh, yeah. Just so we have it on record. All right. I'll make a motion to um, uh, support the, the cancellation uh, as amended. A second. I second. Oh. All those in favor? Aye. Hi, Kelly Shrest. Hi, Diane. Yeah, I can Carolyn. do an individual roll call. Yeah. Hi, Carolyn. All right. Uh, Peter Thomas is at the top of my roll call, so I, I vote aye, Jen. I, uh, Jennifer Remillar, I vote yes. Hello. Holly? Carolyn. Oh, yes, I voted yes. Holly. Holly, yes. Holly, Holly yes. yes. Kelly? Yeah, Kelly, yes. Diane? Yes. Okay. okay. Great. I will upload that to the website. Thank All you. Right. Um, well, there's time for final comment. Anybody want to make it before I call for adjournment? Nope. I'll make a motion to adjourn. Okay. I just want to verify that we're meeting on the 27th next month, right? June 27th. Okay. Maybe what we should do is just look ahead 
to see if there's conflicts like Halloween so we can figure out alternate dates when we meet the next time. Okay. Um, I'm not gonna, just FYI, I can't meet in June. I'm going to be at the Jersey Shore. Oh, how are you? Oh, oh dear. <laughs> That's, for me. Has it gotten better over the years? I haven't been there in forever. Oh, it's one of my, my dad's favorite places before he passed. So we're kind of going back. Uh, oh, nice. Oh, hope nice. you enjoy it. Thank you. Yeah, hopefully you'll have good weather. So it's June 27th. If we go into July, we're looking at July 25th. That's my dad's birthday. Oh, nice. Um, be seven are you guys going to be discussing 17? anything FCAT related in June or? Um, the only thing we'll probably do is we'll have confirmation of uh, where the money's coming from to pay for the. All right, training. I'll attend that meeting then, and I mean okay. for the whole thing. But August August is um, August twenty ninth. Um, September is, is September twenty sixth. Is August 29th the same weekend of Labor Day? No, that's the following week. Yeah, following one, yep. Yep. Um, October. It's Halloween, so you got to pick a different Halloween. date. So um, the week before is the 24th. Is the 24th of October okay for everybody? Mm-hmm. Works for me. Um, yeah. I'm going to double check. I... I don't know if the fall conference is the 19th through the 21st, I think, for the MCOA. All right. I'll well, be at I'm that. So be... I think it's the 19th. So I should be good. Um, the November is the 28th. That is um, the Monday after Thanksgiving weekend. Does anyone have a problem with that? Sometimes people travel. No, I don't. Okay. So, I don't know that far ahead yet. So that's November 28th. And then we have the 26th, which we probably should have because the 31st set, um, you know, that week next weekend is our gala. So, mm-hmm. so uh, where, where's the gala going to be? Deerfield you know, Academy, and we're working on all the details. Okay. We're not really sure if it's going to be in the current dining hall or a temporary dining hall, but whatever facility will be able, they, you know, they feed 600 kids at once. So they'll, they'll be able to accommodate what we're going to do, even if it's a, you know, a temporary building, it still will be halfway decent. For December, do you want to set it mid month? So we're not getting that close to holidays and stuff. Well, you've got Hanukkah to worry about mid month too. Um, well, going back to December, I mean, it's, Pretty far away. Let's see. Um, How about the 12th of December? Then if there's anything to do with the gala, we'll, we'll have enough time. All right. That makes, I, that would make me happy because that the 26th is, of course, the day after Christmas. Yeah, yeah. I, I would rather so do it. So are you planning on volunteering the day of the gala? What do you guys need to be doing with that? I'm just asking. Like, what are your thoughts? Because talking um, about fashion, probably. What? No, I'm being cheeky. I didn't hear what you said. I'm sorry. I said talking fashion, but I'm being cheeky. (laughs) No, but Um, probably just to get the meeting away from the holidays. I think that's the intention. Yeah. So we'll we'll do December 12th in December. Um, And that way, if there's any issues with the gala, we have still a couple weeks. Um, I don't, I don't. Is that so? We're we're all the way through the rest of the year. Does mm-hmm. anyone have any questions? Yeah. Okay. All right. Um, this is pretty just, exciting. Just one thing I was going to. Uh, is everybody okay with me inviting people from Northfield uh, Steering Committee to to dial in on the twenty seventh? Sure. It's <laughs> open to the public. Anybody can go. Oh, yeah. Okay. Well, I just I will send them a specific invitation to join well, us. I think uh, between now and the 27th, we should be just thinking about uh, what we want to, um, if there's anything we want to coordinate with Northfield. 
Okay, then I, if, if it's okay with folks, I, I may just set up a, a meeting. I'll drive up there and just meet with that group to see what they have in mind. Okay, uh, that sounds perfect. Okay. All right, I know, that, I know we didn't want to compete. I know um, we didn't want to so compete any dates. That's all. Open is the second for adjournment. Oh, I will make a motion to adjourn. I second it. Give me a second. All right, all those in favor say aye. 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 <laughs> Diane and Kelly voted yes too. <laughs> okay, we're adjourned. Great. Uh, all right. 43. Thanks. Look at that.